Sports. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We are just moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Chargers. With that, let's get out to Dignity Hill Sports Park in Southern California. As we welcome in our guy, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, under hazy, overcast L.A. skies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Dignity Health in Carson, California. Today, we're set to make good AFC between the Cincinnati Bengals and our whole team. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, every time there's something different to focus on, so I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this round? Well, Reverend Brandt, you've given me a pretty wide canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. What do you think I'm going to do with this? And you know me, you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Now to put toe to leather. And we are underway in Southern California. This will be taken in after one. Here's the Charger offense. The man calling the plays under center. There's And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance. I think you're right. I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say, great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with the balance because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it. Easier passing lanes and easier coverages. I do just keep up his shoulders. I don't make sure he takes up. One of the offense. How much the tone? Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Second and ten now from the 27. Second and ten. He yards is the pickup there to charge your first down. You can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't roll with the tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result. It's like he's going to get covered here on this first down carry. That's going to be. Two yards on the carry there on the second down. Here's second and eight. First down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 40. Brandon, that's my eyes to see me. Now, a natural that they're trying to play here. Second time they've done it. Yeah, opening drive. It's a full set of right. It's going to work his way around. And I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. What kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away? Okay. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten right at the 40. Play <laughs> action fake. They'll look to throw. Yeah. Bengals grab it. College of the game never ceases to 
amazing because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice that fumble. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. They are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. A very good starting field position from the Bengals here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. And where do we go? Field it into Charger territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options. That sort of opens the now second is short. And early second. I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and do some things up. Second and two. Looking for a strong pass, and he's got it. And he'll go down inside the point. Going out of bounds. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. He'll be dropped a yard or two by the thirty. Third team of the Bengals have a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy sitting the turn early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Complete. Had a big hitter and connected. Then it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. And he'll go down at the 28. Three yards on the catch. It's three down. Well, the wide receiver screen is getting enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Heading to the 21 here. Third down. <laughs> Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go to the field goal. Find the right hands. This is 35 yards away. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And the Bengals are in the corner first here and start nothing. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. They have a bottom line. They wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. The field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Field about a yard deep. To the 23. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And last time, the turnover and the fumble. They were in enemy territory, so that. The scoreboard here can't do it again. 
You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had past the 50 yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come over with nothing, not a good feeling at all. Now they can't afford to do that. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll be a second and three. The puzzle compression is all line is definitely looking at chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice game. Down pick up of eight. It is what it's all in this situation nowadays. Watch it. Enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's a tendency break. Yeah. So, I now they'll come up on a first and ten. And how do we go? And he'll get it on a five yard shot in midfield at the 48. Ten yards on their pickup there, and it'll be second down. I remember coaching from the line, this is the times running back in four games. Make sure you're doing a job with your offensive line. Okay, get used to the ground shaking a little bit, but he just started to pass the party up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice experience. And he'll be second down at the 45. Seven yards there with a first down. And the fence trails are big emphasis as that on the run game. And why not? What we've seen so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. They also got the best performance, do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the Second down. Yeah. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Yeah. Yards to pick up there. You think they do it? He's a superior receiver, but you know something? That guy is government. He's usually pretty good, too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it down. Just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't hold it down. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route. You're all conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens out there. From the 21 and second and 10. And it was time to tell that. Take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. It's a bit of about three, but it's going to leave only third and still seven yards to go. Pretty good looking like two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion and a very short pickup. And now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to bring those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Uh, this is going to end on the spot. Not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down.
Bobby Goldar now to try the field goal. And the 14 yards back. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at the negative that it can out of it and get the touchdown. Hey, they got three points. It will give the defense a little bit of rest. Settle down over there. That's a good job. Goals all we've had so far. Three downs. The kick is away. Taylor a couple yards deep. Up about 40 yards shy of where he was. Cincinnati offense ready to see. Second and ten, coming up. He was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there, and just ran him down. Action, that throw. Before he's taken down, last play they got stopped at the line. Yards. On that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but defense, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do. It's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to go to. The receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one. You can let your guy know. Got completion there. Got the discipline make sure to stay in their proper area. Make the call. Well, Charles on first down there, but attempted clean. The 42 as they come up second and 10. In the third game, it's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it's a two way go. You can break out or you can break in. And he's brought to the ground with another first down with the Chargers 35. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. If anyone playing linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first day. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And give a hit as well. There. Is Two teams all tied after one. After the run for no gain, here's second and ten. That's Score. What a great play there. 35 yards. 
the Bengals have taken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. For the point after is Randy Bullock. That is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So this drive spans seven plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. Bullock will see this one away after the touchdown. Feel it at the goal line. And down at the 22 yard line. Field, here comes Los Angeles. Just a lone field goal for them so far, drilling 10 3 as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff here is next up in the going to be good teammates right here. It's just the ball corner. These two first down. Give the defense catch the settle down a little bit. On the right side here. Takes this up in a 40 yard line before being corralled. For 13. Couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first down. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, we're going to start to think that this game is easy if we continue to rip off yardage like this. And again, this time to the team. And he's taken down the number four. He won't keep past the 50. And he's got some running right up the middle. And the defense is going to bounce it. And maybe if it goes, take it, change direction. That's not the end result. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now give it here to his running back. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to be always a loss of two. It'll be shaken down. Finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up of where he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Field after a gain of two, maybe three. And then when we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running punt. Yes. From the midfield strike, they lose the ground. Charlie 
That's being completed, we'll go ahead and take that instead. Nothing extra to be gained. Pass interference. That is fine. Completed the pass. That was your point. Intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I mean, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. What he's done throughout this game. Done that, he'll be hoping to continue that trend. And completion here, second and ten from the twenty. <laughs> He'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the twenty eight. There we saw one of the downsides of putting your run down because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't think you run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. <laughs> Here, complete to his hand. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the third. First connection there of the afternoon for those two for a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. There's a little completion, got the job done for a first down. Nice quarterback now. Six of ten in this first town. He's got his guys a first down here. And now here is second and eight. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. You know the security point of attack, especially some big bodied guys in the middle of this game, has got to be priority one. Here, that's good. Hit 14 on that one. Good for an angle first down. His position and his list is at the tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Couple of first downs on the drive already. Seven now on first down. The play fake. He'll look to throw. He blocks it out. And it's not going to be an incomplete. They decided to air it out a little bit on that play. Took a shot downfield, but the cover was really nice. But get a hand in and tip it away. Now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now head off here to his running back. Pass midfield for the yardage. He's going to 40. The Bengal first down to pick up on the line. This stage of the game, the run pass there was a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage is going through the air. But in a sense, it just things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. He'll pick up another first down with that run. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and ten. 
at the 42-yard line. And out of the game, touch there. there on the eighth play. Something that we think is the strong safeties and the better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage and mixed traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 39 yards there, a big one. Every defensive staff parks on limiting explosive plays. Not, not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. Pass that number there. Touchdown, all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion. Time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, and the momentum going, right? That's you create it with a play like that. And you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. It's up to the one, and that makes it 17 3. And that was a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Bullet will send it away after the touchdown. This will be taken in at the row. He'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. He's set to go again as we look at the back, headed onto the field again. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here. Second quarter, can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to get the ball effectively. Sometimes you might want to swing your back at it, hands in open space, and just pull it away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that's going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to pull it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Hey. Yeah. We'll take this one up to the 35 yard line. Up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They're going to look to throw. Escape, and he goes down. It's a so far in this game. You have already had a couple scores, Brandon, and guess what? They're back now. They get up to such an impressive first half to get that lead.
Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. The girl in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, and you know Orlando and Jonathan Coach are standing by. <laughs> and he gets this up across the 35. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Don't worry about throwing the out. And that can turn to either an incompletion or an interception. Now on that one, everything came together, and it catches it and goes away. Second and five after the five-yard completion. Now it's third down. Passes out that line. Always make you hold your breath for the End up being some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect. It's complete. Brings this up to the 40s. Good enough for the car. Eight yards, first down, as they're able to convert. I give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw right there. And it picked up a first down for him, too. Back now, 11 of 17 passing this. Secured by his running back out of the backfield. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. Into the tight end. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitching catch was successful, but not any run after it. And the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop them with just over a minute to go before halftime. The catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. Now they're looking at third down here. Down four to ten. Comes the left footed punter Kevin Huber to punt it away. Outside in the air and a special man inside the 35. There again is the running back as he trots down the field. He can count his carries on one finger. They only give him the rock one time, Charles McGill. But we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball more times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing and they know they've got multiple opportunities to go. should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling into play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Second 
Chargers going to keep it with a first of their timeouts. Probably just over 30 seconds to go in the first half. Now the Chargers the second of the timeout. 37 seconds to play in this first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They're inside the 25. And you have a lot of first down LA. Getting the football. You gotta get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit, but get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. We can make someone miss in the open field. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on out and try to get three before halftime. Connected on his first, this from 41. The kick by Gold is good. It's a bad Seventeen is well not the best facing this deficit. Yeah, it's a little bit like that forming cloudy day and it peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in a second. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. To be taken in at the one. And that will be marked down right there at the 20 yard line. The Bengals crowd about to get going. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe that might actually pop into a big play. That's what you usually run at this end. Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, And you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Goddard.